Caleb check. <laughs> Caleb playing VR games check. Awesome. And uh, yeah, game board set. Uh, hello, everyone uh, who may eventually watch this sometime in the future. Welcome to the first episode of a game called, or uh, being dubbed, The Fallen Empire. A, uh, a Dragon Queen uh, D&D campaign. It's a franchise now. Ah. I, I am your humble streaming host. Fuck, why am I doing this? You all know who my ass is at this point, if you're watching any of this. Uh, I do not have a camera, because I am... Fuck having things packed up so you, you instead of looking at my ass uh you got a nice foresty background it's a delight mm, forest i I'm, I'm just assuming we're in a foresty area considering the map so without further ado i am going to turn it over to lovely miss dm and uh she can get us uh, started off here all right. So, right off the bat, I need a name and a Hold on. <laughs> I rocket this. I'm so sorry. You just got off of work. You're you're allowed, you know, some time Whoa, to settle. Her. Holding I just on. Love it. Always names. <laughs> I don't know why those throw me so bad. We need to get you like a random name generator. While we are holding on, though, it did kind of sound a bit like your mic was down the hall from you, so maybe that can be a drop. Well, you know why my why it sounds like I'm down the hall? It's because I'm not you. Oh. Yeah, it was Sam. Never mind, then. I'll just go sit Sam down the hallway. Corner. Oh, nah. coming through okay i can't tell right yeah you're clear I wasn't i was trying to like hear myself over the twitch to make sure but oh twitch is weird there's a delay you'll talk and then hear yourself like two minutes later it's weird i hate yeah, that because when i'm I trying to talk while i'm talking it throws me off yeah i mute twitch super hard I do too, but I like to try to make because we di I didn't want to have a repeat of that one time where Quinn was just sitting there like uh huh uh huh and there was just no sound. <laughs> I'm I'm learning to ch I'm learning to check that uh, to make for sure that my sound mixer is doing things. I'm slowly but surely learning how to be oh, a man tech show. All right. Oopsie. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I thought I was ready. Yeah, no worry. Okay, I threw the name up in the chat box, but you guys are residents of the town of Sikir. Sikir. You guys have either grown up here or been here long enough that this is your home for all intents and purposes. You know the town's people, they know you. You more than likely work or run a business here. And you like it here. It's it's nice. You guys are right up on the edge of the mountains. There's lots of foresty things. So you're fond of the place. You do know that not too long ago the ruling body had fallen. There was no conqueror to take their place. And for a long time, the mountains, the forest entirely, was draped in this concern of the unknown. That bit of unknown didn't linger too long as things settled down into normal, peaceful routine. It didn't seem that the fall of the Empire affected anybody. Businesses went on as normal. But that could be because your town is 
quite secluded. You guys don't do trade with the outside. You rely on yourselves. You hunt. You get very few adventuring parties through here. It's a very quiet, quaint life that you all live. But it's your life and you enjoy it. There are a few of you who work in a more marketing industry and you have people who will leave the town to go sell to others. But nobody ever really comes to this town never dawned on you guys that it was odd, but it's just a fact. It was a bit of privacy, and you all appreciate it. At this point, I'm going to have you all introduce yourselves and what you did in the town, because most of you guys should be acquainted with each other. So, we'll go ahead and start with Quinn. No. What? Why me? Why always me? Starting at the end of the tokens that I hear, so... Uh, out of everyone here, I've probably been here the shortest amount of time, but still enough to find myself settling in with the jeweler. My name is Sarior de Salenis. Chat box. Yeah. Yeah, that's not gonna it's not gonna help you all that much. No, uh, everyone should do that, really. Yeah, I feel like everybody should just so we have an idea. How do you do that? The fucking hell. Hey, how do you do that? <laughs> you you type. So at the bottom you oh. change your ads right up to the character that you're going to be. And when you type in there, it'll say your character's name instead of your name. There you go. A relatively quiet young man. Looks like he's just recently come, come to age. Slim, with pale skin, somewhat delicate features. Raven hair and ember eyes. Keeps to himself quite a bit. Thank you, Quinn. Jessica, if you would, please. You're muted, no, I'm not muted. I had to figure out which button I set for talking. Um, my character's name is Gex. She's a druid. Um, she's a Kalishtar. Uh, she moved to this town when she was really, really young. Um, she kind of just does her own thing for the most part. Like side jobs and stuff like that. She's not real she doesn't really have family there or anything so she just mostly helps other people out a temp of sorts yeah content this service what all right thank you <laughs> um that brings us to doggo and how to change the picture <laughs> Oh, God damn it. Did you do the drop down at the bottom of the chat box? Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do it. Uh, I feel like I haven't been here too terribly long. Option. Uh, I am a rather odd sort of individual. Um, I'm a cold salesman named Olozam, uh, but most people in the town call me Max, mainly because of my prices, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, 
a writer, of course. I'm, I'm a really <laughs> unique individual. I kind of run around with a little satchel of of uh, Rolex trinkets, the like, and I actually um, interact quite a bit with uh, Buffy's character and Mr. Yami's character in terms of helping them uh, do their own businesses like meet meet with people and share their wares kind of thing as well as also work side deals with anybody else that kind of needs help uh peddling their goods oh god he's the money launderer basically mm -hmm. and he's the bestest kobolds that's ever lived pat, that's, pat, 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 that's an opinion pat, yeah. shut up racist <laughs> All right. Thank you, Doggo. Fluffy? <sighs> All right. I am Jayla Odoropa. She is practicing engineer with her engineering with her father, Jaskar, who is the proprietor of Odoropa Engineering. She's apprenticed under him for many years and has been trying her hardest to learn all that she could to make the world a better place with technology. Thank you. And that'll bring us to Mr. Yami. My name is Taryn Love, and I was born and raised in this small town in a family long of grave tenders. We watch over the graves and we tend to the bodies of those who have died in much respects. Thank you. Were we supposed to say race? You don't have to. Whatever you want to do. I'm a typhoon. I'm a human. Who would you? I'm slightly Are gothy you? looking. See that. Well, look out, he's a vampire. Maybe. You don't know. <laughs> all right. So, now that you all have a idea of who each other is, because you've all shared this small town for a while, and we know how small town life is. So... Days fade into weeks after the news that the Empire has fallen, and you guys almost begin to question, did this really happen? Nothing bad happened, no more news about it. Everything seems perfectly fine here. It is at the end of one particular day. When you all are settled into your respective homes, that the eeriest of sounds breaks the air around you, and unless in a dead sleep, you hear this almost bird cry. Despite living your lives in this forest, it's nothing like the regional animals, nothing you've heard before. Specifically, you, Jess, this is, you instantly pinpoint that this is not an animal sound. And it raises goosebumps across your skin. The night goes quiet and you begin to ease back into your evening. Perhaps it was just something you heard mysteriously from your own conscience and fears. I will need you all to roll a perception check. Hey. I'm trying to find it. I can never remember where that is. Hey. 19. Hmm. 
<laughs> Perceptive as hell. That's damn good roll. <laughs> yeah, you almost maxed on that one. Starting off strong. Wisdom hey, casters tend one. to be good at that. That's very true. As a fighter. Oh no, Druid, that's right. Never mind. Really? That surprises me greatly. Alright. <laughs> How do I have a minus five to the roll? Hence. <laughs> Why are you reading the bottom of my head? Have angered RNGs. Sounds about right. All right. What? How do you say your name again, Mister Yummy? Uh, Taryn. Taryn. Kex. And I'm gonna butcher this so bad. Sayer. Mm -hmm. Too many vowels in his name. Yeah, there's a lot of L's. All of them, in fact. Sorry, <laughs> all of them. Every letter is in present. Sire de Salana Salet. Sire de Salanas. Well, I'm going to call you Sire. And I'm it, okay with that. Like a Pexis and a Pexius. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought his last name was when I first looked so, at it, so you guys are better than... I should have a lisp, just because. So, why is yours the hardest one, Kevin? Taryn? Taryn. Taryn. Taryn, How Kex, is it and Sire. <laughs> I don't know. Just roll with it. Oh, Mr. Love. <laughs> you should have been the town doctor. I can be. You three are going amongst your evening business. It's faded in tonight now, and a lot of the town has gone to bed, preparing for their days of work. You find that, uh, you feel almost disturbed, though you're not quite sure what's raising the hackles on the back of your neck. You notice a stray shadow. Odd. You check the window. It doesn't seem that there's anything particular out there. Perhaps an animal crossing a lamplight. But then you hear the sound of a human grunt. And then silence. Again, the flickering shadow. No, there's definitely something wrong. After a moment of standing still, just listening, trying to catch what is going on, there's the sound of a small explosion, and fire lights up your village as you see one of the homes burst into flames. This will then alert Max and Jayla. As these pops, something like rockets going off, begin to fill the town. Oh, hell nah. And fire begins to spread. Are they indeed rockets? Because if they are, I have to write this down. They are not indeed rockets. I was just trying to think of a sound, a popping sound that's loud, but not a loud. Not quite, but thank you. Trying. Any Did your best. Come, any sounds that come along when Scotty opens your mouth? Hey, maybe you're fighting a <laughs> body. So better be scared. I'm not. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Excuse me while I import Scotty into the game. <laughs> cool. Dragon Queen, you arrived. That's cute. Oh no. 
<laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We're not worthy. The queen! <laughs> all right. Shifting into panel one, as you all come out of your respected homes, travel oh, down no. the base. And those shadows that you had been seeing flickering about, they pause, they turn, and they stare at you. Yeah, we're what? fighting the fetishes from Diablo. Yeah, I was gonna say. Rackadishu! I am so thick, like delicious kind of thick. Like with um, two C's. <laughs> anyway, these things stare at you through mass faces. I don't want to be anywhere near that shit. <laughs> you guys can position yourselves how you want. Yes, I just threw you on there. I'm not a, a whiny bitch. So I'll stay right where you put me. <laughs> I am determined. Or I am calling this house right here. This is G this is Odoropa Engineer. What? So I'm gonna, right, so I'm gonna I'm be coming gonna right out. out the front door. So we're to assume that over way off over in this general direction is where the graveyard is. <laughs> sure, guys. I just didn't think you wanted to be separated. But if you want to be separated, I can do that. No, I'm good. This is this is engineering shop right here. Me and me and my dad, Jaskar, <laughs> we live in a flat on top or on the second floor. Okay. Oh God, there's fire everywhere. This is starting to look real familiar. Do this, I swear. I promise. Ooh, ah. I appreciate the DM face right now. But also, if, if, if it's That's canon, kind of this neat. is Odoropa Engineering, she's not out. I came out my front knocking. door, and I'm, I do not like what I see. I'm peeking out the, I'm peeking out the window, not wanting to be seen. I live over in this bush. <laughs> you see, you live you are you are like the street grifters who got all their sh like in New York who's got all their ship shit on a like a tarp that they just roll up when the cops roll in. I think I'm more like the freaking uh, merchant from the end of Aladdin. I mean, practically the same. He thing. is he is a close personal friend and business partner to Odoropa Engineering. Like I think they might put him up in the house, maybe. No. Bigger livings, it's fine. <laughs> could Why we uh? Money? Could we call you a street rat? Oh, he's a like street that. dragon. All right. His tongue does it does do the little thing. Again, I don't do that tongue thing. There you go. Good job. Ushu. Uh can we roll initiative? Yes, my love, you can roll initiative. I don't know. That's myself. learning. Back to myself, roll. Don't fuck this up. Jessica fucked it up. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. It took me like three times before I learned to. It's okay. <laughs> click on your token first before oh, you roll. Hey. Finally, a not poopy initiative. Click on your token. There you go. Now roll. I just love how my initiative mob is usually what I roll for my other characters. Hey, Jess Love. Yeah? I'm going to take your first roll. Oh, okay. Um, it's Taryn Love. Thank you. Well, Jess gets to be loved tonight, so... Oh, Jess, ah! that means we're like siblings or something? Ooh. You wish. I like the heterochromia. That's really cool. Yeah. Did you know that Artemis has heterochromia? Yeah, you told me. I didn't actually see it on him, but I saw it in the picture. Yes. Like literally, it was. I I had to meet him in person before it really stood out to me. It was you something had to incredible. Hold his face directly into the sun. <laughs> I, saw I wasn't going to do that, but yeah, some sort of light w source would be nice. Not towards the sun, in the sun. <laughs> Please stop tormenting my child. Oh, I've got to near my child oh. ever again. 
Also, Kex, though she didn't write any of it down, actually has a cool reason, like a story reason for being heterochromia addict. Oh yeah, I forgot to add that. I was really <laughs> high when we decided that shit, and I forgot to fucking type it all up. And like, no one was surprised. I mean, Druid makes sense. Oh Our man, man. the Druid bitch. Top of the turn order. Fluffy, there are explosions outside. That piques your interest, seeing as your shop should be the only one doing that. <laughs> yes, yes, we should. <laughs> That's not mine. They must die. Well, she is... The reason I moved her back inside is because the first thing she's going to go do is go check on her... On her what? Father. Papa. Paja. Dad. <laughs> You go to, you come running out of the shop area where you had been completing your night's work and head into your home area, but your father is already prepared and ready to leave. He tells you to stay near the shop and runs out. It's Iron Man. Okay. Well, stay near the shop. I'm Doesn't, over say... running out. Yeah, stay near the shop. Didn't say stay in the shop. So she's going to run out the front door and run into Max. Ah! <laughs> oh, Max. That's a knock, and I just get bowled over. <laughs> it happens. Yeah! Max, what's going on? It's weird. Explosion. Oh, what are you doing? That's what I came to ask. No. Like, this isn't the we agreed upon. No, no, no. I, I, We do our thing for the betterment of people, not to blow shit. Why are the houses on fire? I don't know, but I'd like to go find out. This is just silly. <laughs> oh, more fire. Cool. <laughs> oh, look, it's spreading. Fire is hot. <laughs> there was not enough fire. <laughs> you missed a house. <laughs> Just you wait. All right. Taryn. Taryn will come walking down the path, apparently seeing all of this. And yep. we are noticing all these people. Yep. Do they? For hell, I am not. <laughs> Do they look dangerous? Well, they're just standing there staring at you right now. But you can see weapons on them. Uh, newcomers. We haven't had any of those. What? Newcomers come? I wonder why they stay away. Um, they're not in squares. That's because I copied and pasted them. I was a little worried there because I'm like, ah, oh, shit, I'm in range. Still in range, my friend. Oh no, they got spears. <laughs> Are you doing anything seeing these creatures? These masked humanoids? I don't know how I feel about them yet. Okay, is that all for you? That will be all for me. Go <laughs> on, try it. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping you would just start. <laughs> oh, how did you pronounce the first again? Say Sire? Sayer? Sire. Sire, okay. Like, kind of Starcraft, Ire. Yeah, my life for Ire, got it. Yeah, that's how you can remember that. So I uh, do I recognize these creatures, like at all? Roll me a history check. Ooh, Ooh can I do that 18. too? I actually made a character that's good at it for once. If you want to, Fluffy. 
not that good at it. <laughs> I'm good at it. No, I'm not. Oh. <laughs> I mean, a plus six is still pretty good. Well, I mean, it is, but yeah. the low roll didn't help. <clears throat> Sire. You said that you rolled a 18? 18, yeah. From your travels to this town not too long ago, you remember seeing that mask. Well, a mask like it. It had been forced into the side of a tree, as if an indent had been carved in just enough to wedge it in there. And it had just sat there, staring. But you'd never seen anybody wearing a mask like this, just that it had been in a tree at one point. Okay, so they're not... So it's not from... Uh... Okay, cool. So it, so it was seen... It, it was seen on the road relatively recently. Okay, that's cool. Uh, just gonna tense up. Kind of freezed in, frozen in the window a little bit. Just feel that light, gentle touch on my shoulder and just shake my head and just stay put. I'm not moving. I'm not doing anything. I'm just observing. Okay. Max. Ah, they're too close. <laughs> Are you guys don't know these guys? I don't know these guys. Ah. Uh -huh. But if they're the ones causing the explosions, we gotta get uh, one of them. I'm trying get to decide how I roll. I would run this honestly. I would approach him and be like, "Hi, I'm I'm Sam." Or I'm Max. <laughs> These wonderful things starts digging in bot bags. I like how the fire keeps spreading as we actually don't do anything. I mean, it hasn't <laughs> even been six fire. seconds yet. Things are exploding everywhere. <laughs> Rapid fire. Literally. Load. It's dry and windy. What do you want? <laughs> Moisture. Rain? For the starting <laughs> town not to burn down. That would have been lovely. Yeah, I guess I'll approach and be like, Hi, I'm Max. I saw all these things. Let me just show you one. Start rummaging in my bag. The thing will take a step back defensive, bringing its... Uh... Oh, wait, come back. I, ha I have these things. They're so shiny. <laughs> Especially this lit stick of TNT. He doesn't fully retreat from you, but he takes a cautionary stance. Can you roll a perception, please? His ah, wares fam. From, his wares are from <laughs> that dirty Khajiit down the road. <laughs> hey, if you got coin... <laughs> Besides the mask, from what you can see, this thing appears human. Customer. It's a customer. <laughs> Give me your money! <laughs> I'm gonna sell you junk whether you like it or not! Alright, that brings us to Kex. I'm gonna walk over To that guy and ask him, did 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 you set my house on fire? Is that all you're doing with your turn? Well, I'm waiting to see if you respond. I'm gonna respond next turn. I'm about to get stabbed to hell. I'm I'm pretty sure. <laughs> They're fine. Why are you always assuming the worst in people? They got spears, and he Does got Does that mean he's smart or dumb? Um, I was kind of doing a check on him. Um, he too will take a cautionary stance. I knew. But he doesn't uh, just... Cold, dark mask just stares down at you. 
I'm assuming that means he did it, so can I attack him? If you want to, you go ahead. Okay. Murderhobo.exe initialized. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do to him once. Bye, though. You're a level one druid. You can't turn into a cat, so you're either gonna I'm... club him or cast a spell. I'm checking my spells. Cast a lele? Cast a lele on your stick and then hit him with it. Get the shit out of him. Um. Um. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll put shillelagh on my weapon. Always a good choice. I don't think that's what I was supposed to click. I can't do One it. Second. That was what you were supposed to pick. I'm just... It's gonna basically adjust this different. for you. Yes, I'm clicking your stuff. Good man, good man. Double there you go. There you go. Your staff is now wisdom based. Have fun. Okay, now I just where do I click on this? Just click your staff. Decide if you're gonna one hand it or two hand it, and click away. I'm gonna two hand that bastard. There you go. I think you burnt my house down, so fuck you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Enter El Cabong. I'll click the quarterstaff two-handed, and I think it should roll the damage. All right, that will hit. Yes! Go ahead and roll. Yeah, fuck. Ooh, damn. Punch. Get wrecked, son. No one burns my house down and gets away. Why are you killing them? They're supposed to buy my stuff. We were just for the insurance Damn. company. We're really Could good at our job. Yo, fuck a bitch's house up. <laughs> so, Tex, enraged with grief and confusion that the only home you've known has been burned to the ground, you swing at this guy with all your might, coshing him in the head and sending him to the ground lifeless. A little snap when you did it. <laughs> Kex, Kex is very, very pleased. Holy From shit, Kex. <laughs> From the guy. You hear the cry of the uh, tribal man facing off with the kobold. It's nice knowing you, Max. <laughs> 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 Stabbed. Ow. God damn it. Will an eight hit you? Uh no. <laughs> no. I say that great, but no. Alright, that brings us to Jayla's turn. Oh, they just stabbed at my friend. That's a problem. Hey, I mean, th these are pretty things. Why would you, like, stab at me? You're just gonna beat it with your big-ass knocker? Oh my god, the fire. Jesus. <laughs> I'm not it's a waterbender, yo. Don't you have, like, a hose or something? With the only... <laughs> yeah, push. Just saying, Fluffy's got this uh, steampunk Beauty and the Beast thing going on, and I'm kind of digging it. I know. Dude, look at those. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Slutty, kind of hot. slutty steampunk <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. Although that is Beauty not how the shirt Mechanical works. engineering. Unless it's wet. That's not even how a shirt was stretched over them. <laughs> it's always wet. Sweat. She's a working woman, damn. Sure. More than a simplistic that just means she's stinky. Nah. Anywho. Like salt. The anticipation, it's killing me. Not 
the wrench. Wrench, 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 wrench. I think I'm just going to shoot at him with my crossbow because I am a low-level artificer and I can't do jack. Oh, it's going to be hammer time. Damn it. I can't use the hammer oh. well yet. <laughs> well, you definitely Impressive. don't hit. Yeah, I know. Well, nice knowing you, little buddy. Ah, don't shoot me. Soldier last wear. The crossbow malfunctions in your hand and the arrow gets stuck. Cool. <laughs> I didn't get shot. Cool. I will re add my arrow. Then she will just spend the rest of her turn tinkering with it, trying to figure out what the fuck happened. Mm -hmm. hey, Wang. Trying to sell stuff here. I did not mean to click that. I'm sorry. Oh, Good. God. Are you rolling for the guy you killed? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, there's a but I couldn't see the button on my screen right, so I was like, what the fuck is it? And now I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you roll when you become like the guy you just did. Mr. Love, it is your turn. Is that because you can't remember Tara? Just go. Okay. Dr. Love. He should have been Dr. Love. Oh, well, he's Priest Love, technically. Father just, love. Father love. I'm just Father. saying, a this grave tender is a practice of far too late CPR. Shh. Oh, we all don't tell them. It's hard having a character that wouldn't just jump in and help the fight. <laughs> I have not had this before. <laughs> Play your characters it would be true for them between just keeping the act up and or just fucking wasting this guy buying my shit my jayla is something wrong with your weapons i'm off half cock me wow <laughs> oh just a little jam it's fine now i'm gonna fix it now if you say so i did bring my maze I'm not very good at wielding it, though. Oh no, the, no, the house is on fire. Well, I, I mean, the, the, the flames are kind of spreading kind of quick there, so maybe um, if you got something. Yeah, two spell slots, Patrick. I'm aware. <laughs> you need a she. You need a she wee so you can put the fires out. In case you don't know what those are, they're the little things so girls can mm. pee standing. Oh. Thank you, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to make every sure. Day. No. Everybody oh. on the internet was dying to know that. Nah, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. This is an educational stream. Yep, quality educational programming. Like, oh, shoo-wee, I got you. <laughs> Dro dropping facts. Now, Max, don't you do that. That's not a good thing to... Oh, you do not swing at Max. Wait, you know Max, too? He's a good guy. You know Bosco? The best guy. What are you talking about? Everybody knows me. The fact you don't makes me sad. Ouch, you need a different weapon. Yeah, how? <laughs> No, le legitimately. H how? I don't know. Rookie numbers. Plus plus I don't well, well, how do you how do you attack at a plus three and only have a plus one to your damage? That's what Prof I'm wondering. Oh wait, never mind. Yeah, proficiency. Never mind. Uh, uh, never mind. Uh, like He's only got a thirteen or twelve. I do have a thirteen. Yeah. He doesn't use. He's not thing. gonna buy my stuff. <laughs> All right. <sighs> so you fire sprouts. Oh no, it's getting bigger. You have to roll how, like how a does... one for it not to get bigger. 
I mean, I've heard about fire spreading at the start of the turn, but starting on everybody's turn. Jesus. It's realistic with old style buildings. Thank you, Jess. That's fair. Everything's You're made welcome. of wood, but not Odoropa Engineering. Right now. <laughs> Your house is the only one made of stone, and it's going to be the only one left after that town. No, I mean, it's down. not made of wood. That's a fucking engineering shop. That shit is pin. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad idea if it was made of wood. It's made out First of 18 inch steel. Well, old style shingles were still wood, anyways. Thank you, Jeff. You're welcome. <laughs> I made them out of clay. <laughs> Actually, bronze. Bronze shingles. Dude, there's a house up here that has copper shingles. Copper? Yeah, I believe it. That's why it's all green. Mm -hmm. No, it's it's orange. It's very beautiful. <laughs> it's like orange now because it doesn't fucking rain in Arizona. That's a good point. <laughs> didn't have the chance to like oxidize and rot. Quinn, hmm. it's your turn. Oh, sorry, uh, I I wasn't called upon. <laughs> In sire. <laughs> <laughs> so, I will give, I will give my, I will give just a subtle nod, kind of creak open the door and start kind of lie low, not be seen, and start. Moving my way through. Weird guy from across the street. Is it a boy or a girl? So I'm trying, trying to be sneaky, but uh, I'm pretty sure an eight in stealth is not going to make myself unnoticed. But... My good sir, our Kronk from the Empress New Group. -da -da. Well, I mean. Not that you were trying to hide from me, but I see you passively, so... Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. It's like, everybody's got probably at least a 10 passive. So, you know, I'm trying to be sneaky and move across a the street. All right. Is that the end of your turn? Yeah. I'm not seeing anybody on the other side here, am I? Doesn't Do, look like it. Doesn't seem to be. Okay, well, that's that's as far as I can get sneaking. Max. So, what you mean to tell me is you don't want to contribute to the glory that is the Dragon Queen? They're the totally Queen. not contributing to the anti-mugging them fun. Probably not going to contribute to the Dragon Queen. This conversation's over. The uh, tribal warrior is just uh, just standing there, vexed. Eyes mostly on the priest, seeing as that one just hit him. If he's not going to pay up, Eldritch Blast! Holy shit! Really? Yes. <laughs> Why? I will, I will cast Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Let's pay glory to the Dragon Queen. Is that what uh, you you're under the table marketing for? Blood for the Blood God! It's blood for the, for the Dragon, Dragon Queen. Queen. For the Blood God! Dragon Queen! I don't know who this is. And then you replace it. With this small trinket. <laughs> sure, they overpaid, but an exchange yes. was still made. Yes. Well, I have to make a sale somehow. <laughs> uh, I love it. You're getting a taunting finger from me. If they won't contribute gold, yeah, they contribute for blood. It. And then gold. <laughs> I'm, ex I'm exchanging wares. He just didn't want to do it. It's gold. <laughs> I'm completing the transaction. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. 
It's called aggressive it's a bartering. It's <laughs> aggressive bartering hey. is a legitimate business tactic. About like that, like that, Terran. It's making me feel bad. Oh, that's the end of my turn. I'm giving him a trinket. You have driven her <laughs> to drinking. Lay a trinket on its corpse, take whatever gold it contains. <laughs> hey, yeah. you know what? That's a legitimate like character thing, and I'm digging it. I try to sell. If they don't agree, then I'm going to kill them, loot them, and leave a trinket. <laughs> Absolutely. I approve of this 100%. I call him. <laughs> yeah, that's my turn. Oh, Kirk. Yeah, Hexy Man. Yeah. Yeah. Hi there, does she? Uh, Murder him, too. Has anyone taken any damage? Nope. Oh. <laughs> Amazingly, no. We're doing way better than Brackstock. Well, that's disappointing. Yeah. Um. I can't. More aggressive, we're gonna start clapping them cheeks. If I move her here, am I able to attack him, or do I have to be like right next to him? That guy's yeah. dead. Finish him. Oh, a red X over him. <laughs> He's bleeding yeah, on the floor. Because <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. I was like, are we killing Max now? <laughs> <laughs> like, sorry, bye. No, I, I have an issue with that. that. He just robbed that poor gentleman. I left the so, He bought it. Are you equivalent exchange. Are you able to run over bodies in this, or do you have to like go around the body? Yeah, you can step you can. over. Them. Okay. Step on them. They fail a death save automatically. Gave our location away. I gotta I see how far. Too, it's too. It's a melee attack. <laughs> you can go like thirty, probably. You're not a halfway. I was about to say, can they actually what? hear my Eldritch Blast over the whole city burning? Thank you for the reminder. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you fail anyway. <laughs> I'm figuring out technical things. Give me one second. Peace. No, Jess, it lasts for up to There's a minute, which burning. will in oh, all likelihood be this entire comp. Okay, so I'm care. going... Uh, I'm going to attack him as well because my house is burnt down and I am so pissed. Wait, there's more people? Oh, wow, there are things down there. That's a trade on. That's pretty good. Fine. Tex is trained that. in combat. She'll murder them all. Now for I'm going to try to plaque him too because I'm so unhappy. <laughs> He hit? Not sure. What the hell is that? Bird's nest. Oh. 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 I have no idea. The uh, hell? It's a rock. Oh, I get it. Burnt rubble. Thank you. I was I like, I, what, is that supposed to be smoke? And then it got all big. Mother like <laughs> fucker's gonna <laughs> die. My house is burning. It's My half dead. Like the descent now. <laughs> Not really burning anymore. It's kind of just like on the ground. Smoldering. Crunch. Kex, you hit. Damage. Yes. Go max damage. Oh. Oh. That's sad. No, that's not possible. It, it should still be doing a D6. Or a D8, I mean. It is. That was a D8. Oh, no, it did. For whatever reason, I thought it was supposed to be a plus six. Hypothetical question. Yes. I'm very, my character is very angry. Is she able to heal him and then attack him? No. <laughs> okay. I mean, you can, but you don't have the actions for it. Otherwise, yes. Damn. This is why you need healing word. 
As the fires are blazing around you guys, and you hear the sound of buildings giving under the weakness of the heat, you can also hear in the distance the screaming of your town full. Not all my things. They're nice people. Uh, my customers. We gotta say. We gotta save them. My customers. <laughs> oh no! They didn't invest in the fireproof shingles. The fools! I swear to God, I just heard you say fireproof oh. fetus. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't think they've invested into fireproof bodies either, but... <laughs> did that guy oh, just charge right past Kex? Yes, he did. You can take an opportunity attack. Do it! Just smack, smack the him. shit out of him. Kill him dead. Slap the one, bastard one, out of him. Ran back here, this one? Yeah, yep. roll your staff again, because he ran past yeah, you. You don't have to move. Just roll your attack, because he ran by you. Yes, Jessica. Quarter staff. Hit him again. Aww. Oh, that Damn. Was bad. That would have been nice. Uh, it might have hit still. You never know. Oh, but I meant the crit would have been so nice if you just oh, crit him and yeah. then fucking knock his ass out. <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> Dang. All right, you do hit. Actually, stop? No, it doesn't stop him. Damn. But now they're going to take a swipe at you. That's fine. Fuck you. <laughs> Turn this twosome into threesome. <laughs> Does a 16 hit? Reverse your armor class. Yeah. Which from here looks to be That's a 13. 13. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's really precious. You take three oh, I can see text bio and info. You, you are catch? muted or something, Jessica. Okay, I took three off. Yep. As this guy stabbed you with his spear. You didn't do it correctly. How did you? What did I do wrong? There, I have oh. done it correctly. Do it on your token. Well, whatever she did, I, I already did it. Up. It's fine. I fixed oh. it. And then it reverted back. What the fuck? You having that issue during the conspiracy? Oh no! More fire moving. Stop it. Hey, the fire's consuming ah. that asshole now. Somebody shove him into it, fucker. That'll teach. I actually, this I'll is flash awesome. push. Oh no, that's a that's an invocation later that I get. Don't I? Fuck yeah, repelling blast. Yes. Get hey. repelling blast and the pulling one, then you are an a then you are a control master. Be fucking scorpion. Get over here. No, go away. Dayla, do you want your turn? <laughs> I mean, I guess. Sure. Well, Did I manage to fix my crossbow in the time I've been fiddling with? Yes. Cool. I have to roll a one again. Yay! <laughs> God. I think I just fine. got hit for five by Kex, so he's probably feeling that. Yeah. So we know 10 works. Yep. Before it was 11, now it's 10. We're doing those maths again. What are you talking about? Nothing. I don't Just know. The, the Underdark game, that the whole thing where we were like, is it 6 or is it 7? Uh, we now know it's below 10. Help. A thing. Don't us. Don't mind us. I'm trying not to. Anyways, then she's gonna oh, follow that's the that's pretty white-haired lady down the, and that's it. 
So just so you guys know, I did my math wrong. That's why that guy's dead so early. I was so confused about what you guys were talking about it for a minute. What? Evan. But anyway. Mr. Anyways. Yep. Can't wait till you have repeating on your crossbow, because that's going to be hot. Duck it, duck it, duck it, duck it, duck it. By the time I have repeating on my crossbow, I'll be able to smack things with a big ass ring. I also have a pet doge. Mecha beast. As you no start to own fire. Asshole. It's sacred, it's fine. Woohoo! Finally! What, does that the entire town burst into flames now? You had to ask. You had to ask. At 20, the entire town burns down. Shit. If Fluffy's dad isn't some pot-bellied, blonde, uh, balding, gray-haired guy, I'm going to be disappointed. I don't know what he looks like. I just put him in the story like an hour ago. What if he's like some hot bearded guy? With like this giant. No, mustache? do not accept. Yes, Armstrong muscles. But he's like. Uh, yeah. He's gonna be like fat Thor from Avengers. <laughs> oh, that would yes. Be cool. No, that's supposed to be Torhild's dad. <laughs> oh shit! Torhild I mean, doesn't fair. know her dad. So, I'm not hearing an argument against him being Fat Thor. <laughs> I mean, that's, that is totally true. You don't true. know your dad, therefore he's automatically Fat Thor. <laughs> <laughs> it's canon now. This is just erupting and rubble now. Oh, not Master Roshi. Everywhere. Master <laughs> You know, that's funny, because one of our uh, managers at work actually talks about him off Roshi at one point, because he's an angry-ass, long-bearded dude. But apparently, he used to be fucking muscled the shit out. Oh, yeah. All right. So, Mr. Love, that was the end of your turn, yes? Yes, it was. Took my movement and everything. Shit, that's like a 90-year-old version of, like, the most interesting guy in the world. <laughs> That flattened. I'm parched. Always to the beast. That, is that like just next to me? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so um, Fluffy out of character. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but uh, yes, apparently your oil lamps have uh, gone off. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> so many explosives. Well, that's right. There are explosives there. Um, yep. Oh, no. I need to get away from his house. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. As the room totally. fire, you all become very nervous. <laughs> Side note, I'm totally I'm not supposed to do that. dad being tormented. Uh, is your house supposed to be doing that? I thought it was fireproof. The fire resistant. The it's a difference. Oh, we have a problem. Anything flammable near the roof, is there? Uh, Everything yeah. under it. That would be <laughs> on the ground floor. How long does it take fire to eat through the roof of your house? Uh, well, apparently one, this One and a fire... half seconds. Yeah, this fire spreads ridiculously fast, so it's probably already there. I'm sorry, is that complaining that I hear? Oh. I'm only complaining because they can't run fast enough. <laughs> just saying, I'm just saying physics is doing some things here. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm continuing to, uh, you know, try and make my way away. You're just running? Wow. I don't want to be a part of this. There are things setting massively uncontrolled fires everywhere. 
All right, if that's the end of your turn. That is. Moving away from the burning house. <laughs> Ash accent. Oh, hey, another person. I have these things. I want to sell you. <laughs> now, Max, I told you not to do that. But they can buy my things. For capitalism! <laughs> Are you attacking? Buy my things. Plus, I actually have to double check my spells to see if they're. He does what every other one has done and becomes defensive at your approach. Buy my things or I'm going to hex you. He just. Story of the Dragon Queen. Continues to stare down at you, prepared to take on the fight. Alright, fine. I'm going to fucking hex him. Because I told him I would. All of ready to action. I mean, you you are a man of your word. This is this is commendable. So it's just instant damage. We'll check that. Doesn't seem right. No, it's setting up damage. Anytime he hits a hexed target, it does an extra d6 necrotic. Ah, okay, that makes plus, sense. Plus, you choose one of their ability scores, and any ability checks using that score. Are at disadvantage. So you get to choose one okay. of the stats to be. Uh... I have a concentration going now, as I kind of fiddle with a arcane focus and I'm like, "Hey, buy my things." No, all right, I curse you, and now his he's got strength disadvantage. And that's on checks. Just on checks, not on attacks, not on saves. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. But if you want to tackle him and make him buy your shit, he'll have a harder time getting off of you. I said boy. Buy my quiz alert, damn it! They're shiny. They're pretty. You're gonna like them. Buy them. Buy them now. Buy them before I inject them into your esophagus. I'm only. Act now. Kex. You should have been Billy Mays. Billy Mays here. That is the voice now, right? Billy Mays? I haven't actually settled on a voice yet, so sure. Max here with flex tape. <laughs> uh, I have Chipotle away. Are you tired of bloodstains in your underwear? <laughs> <laughs> then stop eating a Taco Bell. Well, Chipotle, but yes. Yes. Oh, Jess, murder some more things. Come on. Murder some more things that we um, don't know if they were responsible for the things happening here. They it's only for showed up just after the fire started. They are responsible. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go attack. I can't believe you guys burnt down my house. Now you all have to die. Are you actually talking? Yeah, bitch. Okay. Uh, yeah, I believe that. This is totally in line for one of Jess's characters. Oh Fuck. Aww. Damn. Yeah. No, I meant, More are you actually talking because you don't have to? Because, bitch, I am telling him why he's dying. It's just respectful. Hey, you know what? Jess is getting into role-playing. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, shit on this. Yeah, she's doing great. No, I had oh, to I remind her of a thing. It's fine. Uh, it or... <laughs> oh... Well, I mean, I would still have to voice what I said to him. Oh, I'm clicking the button. Sorry. That's fine. All right. I don't know if you get advantage on the attack or not. She's not flanked. That is uh, your turn. So we'll bring it to the tribe warriors. 
And physics, That's not you, douche. And physics is just such a funny thing. There's magic involved. Physics mean nothing. Oh, so this guy just shows up then, huh? Well, while well, you're trying to run out of the village that way, this one comes running in. I didn't even see him. Oh, that guy. The DM's being mean to me. <laughs> yep. Oh, split the party. Oh, shit, too late. This is what I do to whiny characters. He's a rogue. He can be emo. It's a, it's a class feature. Hey, Sam. <laughs> hey, Sam. I didn't whine. Do I get good boy cat pets? No. Mm -hmm. Do I get not, the good not... girl? Boy, you have to wait a week and a half get, for that. I was about to say, how do I get the bonus points so I can have art drawn? Because I really. Um, well, that was one docked, so it's fine. Oh. Shit. <laughs> I'm still pushing for those bonus favorite points. Stop right. putting that in my face, Fluffy. So Are you guys having an affair again? Yep. Again? Me and Quinn, you meant, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. That's Everyone's a thing. Kung Fu fighting. It's been going on for years. I think I think I interrupted Sam, and I'm sorry. It's okay, Jess. Thank you for apologizing. You are so sweet. You're my favorite. <laughs> all the points. Oh, oh, I feel like I'm watching all the parents fight at the dinner table. Oh. Over here going, ah, oh, this is going to be so long. Oh, that hurts. I'm sorry, Fluffy. <laughs> all Ouch. right. So if I can continue. Dad and, Dad and Mom are fighting. You can. Proceed. Uh, Give it to me, sexy. <laughs> uh, so, I roll like a two. That's a six for Doggo. That's a uh, 12 for Kex. And that's a 10 for Mr. Love. Oh, I'm safe on a six. How about you guys? I'm what saying. did I get hit with? They missed you, Jess. Twelve. What's your AC? Okay, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. And Mr. Emo Boy. <clears throat> here's where oh, they roll good. Here's, yeah, here's where they roll good. <laughs> Mr. Emo no, Boy, you're, you're safe. trying to escape. This one has advantage. <laughs> <laughs> that one will strike you at eleven. No. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Uh, these guys don't have like amazing mods because I would cry. Jayla. Yes, my turn. Jayla, they won't buy my stuff. Make them pay. My turn. Yep. <sighs> Sorry, there's more important things to worry about. I'm gonna cast Longstrider on myself, increasing my movement speed by 10 feet, and run back in to collect daddy. <laughs> I thought for uh, a second, you're like, control flame, stop. <laughs> your dad had left a while ago. You okay. After Good. starting the fires, he wanted the insurance money. Well, I mean, that's that's a issue for future episodes. I don't know that yet. Burning all has inventions. You're in a burning building. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The fire-resistant shingles aren't fucking working. God damn it. <laughs> Have to alter that plan. Fire. <laughs> you need epic fire-resistant shingles. I mean, where was I? I was here, so that's like 5, 10, 15, 20. I can probably step back were, out and be fire. Yeah, I think I'd step back out there. and be fine. Then I'm good. That's it. Okay. Just making sure Dad made it out. Yep, he's not there. And this place is going up in smoke. Like, really, really fast. We're not supposed Mr. to mention that. That smoke? He swung at me. He did. That's, that's a very rude thing to do. Yeah. Probably not mean anything. Blah. He makes us safe. 
damn my life all together. That's all I can do then. Okay. Okay, um, that's a whole lot of nothing I want anything to do with. Uh, I will, f uh, I'll feel a chill just kind of ripple across my skin as I kind of take a huddle, uh, kind of brace myself against this creatures very much unprovoked attack as uh -huh. there's a slight mist and chill that kind of rolls off of my body as I pull my shield. Second there, I thought I knew this ability, but now I don't. Armor or whatever the fuck it's called. Mm -hmm. uh, frosty armor. But, yeah, I'm braced for what this you know what actually I think I will kind of try and shift around and start trying to edge my way away from it okay is that the end of your turn yes I was to say is this your first pacifist character because I'm surprised uh, no, it would not be uh, my first person who does not like combat. Okay. You that's have not, cool. you have yet to meet Aradel. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. That is fair. Aradel, I miss that guy. Yeah. The guy who I almost think now? he accidentally starts wars. I have to buy my things. Come on, you know you want to. Nobody wants to buy your things. Well, well that was poopy on him. Mistake. That'll hit. Who are you blasting? The uh, one I hexed, so that's going to be yeah, another so three points. The hex damage. On top of or, that. Yeah, take the. I already rolled it before. I wasn't going to re-roll it because I re. -rolled. So yeah, okay. four, four force, three hex or three necrotic. I'll just blast. <laughs> Um, Pull him so I can bonus action it to another person. Yep. I'm gonna try attacking him again. Okay. Club him. Club him to death. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> He's dead. Holy shit. Yeah. Now, Doggo, I'm right to uh, assume that you were attacking this guy? I was attacking this guy. Oh, okay. Then yes, that one is dead. Now, technically, I didn't move my bonus action. Can I put the curse on him now? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Well, I mean, if he check. died, uh, if he died on your turn, then yeah. Otherwise, you would do it on your next turn. Oh, so I have to wait until my turn comes back. Yeah. Yeah, because it takes a bonus okay, action to move that's... it. That is fair. I just wanted to make sure because I didn't use a bonus action, but you're right; it wasn't my turn. Is that all for you, Jess? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone shall bow to my staff. So, Until you can turn into a mountain lion. Are you are you telling me that your staff is better than bacon? Yes. Your staff I is mean, pretty pimp. I'm not going to lie. I can't think of an in-person game that's ever been derailed completely by a staff, but bacon um, has done that. Well, <laughs> they both have their pros and their cons. One of them can slide down your throat very easily. One of them is going to be slightly Bacon. more challenging. I'll say they both could slide down your throat. It's just depending on how how uh, how resistant to it you are. 
Um, hey guys. What's up? Um, we're going to just need to stop here. Um, we'll pick up next time on the opponent's turns. Yo. Uh, what happened? Is everything okay? Well, it's two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh, boo. I was getting into it. I know. We're all doing really good. Oh, my gosh. You guys are going to lose their pockets. With what? With the what? Not looting their pockets yet. Kill them first, and then I can loot their pockets and leave trinkets. But in any event, thank you everyone for showing up for tonight's uh, little excursion. We greatly appreciate your patronage. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of what is it? Are we doing? Are, are, is Sunday a go? Uh, yeah, she said 8 p.m., I think. Oh, yes, night. that's right. Sunday night. Yes. New time yeah. New time slot. I just don't know. What, do we have a what we're doing? Is that I don't know. I believe it's understudies. Is that correct? Uh, I thought it was under dark. Not understudies, under, under dark. Yeah. Okay, that'll work. So, Secrets of Dresme. Yes. Under dark, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the title that I can never remember. But, uh, yeah, hey, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you, at the very least, Sunday night. Later. Later. Bye-bye.